Williams and, and Dorch and the jobs that, that they sort of headed up on Bowling Green's two big players? Well, the thing that I would say most of all is that uh, Andela did a great job of stopping the ball in transition. You know, Beachy's used to getting a lot of points in transition, and we got a lot of good practice for that playing Buffalo before them. Buffalo's point guard was averaging six assists a game coming into our game. She had four, and granted, uh, some of those came late when we had our bench empty. But I really thought that that was a great preparation game for us, getting ready for this one, because they really play up tempo too. Um, but Andela got our defense started, but really, even though you want to say what a great job they did personally, it took our whole team to stop those kids. That's how good they are. The sets that they run uh, are tremendous for their team. They complement each one of those kids so well. And I thought our players, we challenged them with a way to guard them tonight, but it really did take all, all of the people surrounding those screens for the, for the, the defense to be effective. Uh, the post players had to hedge. Uh, the other post player had to help. You know, the other guard had to bust her tail around that screen. And then we had to make sure that as tempting as it can be, that ball side we didn't come running off the shooter because they're so good at drawing and dishing. Um, you know, and I thought for the most part we did a pretty good job of, of one shot and out. Now late when we got a little tired, I thought they crashed the boards and got away from us. But it was a tremendous, tremendous defensive effort from our team. And I thought for the most part we did a great job of staying focused for the whole game. Trisha, people don't do what you guys just did. People don't come in here and win. How were you guys able to win? Have you thought about how impressive it is, what you guys were able to do? Well, I know how hard it is. Uh, you know, a couple years ago when I took the job and we came in here for the first time and saw what a crazy atmosphere it was, you know, it really gave us a taste. And, and you know, you look back and, and Jessica Williams and Goody were sophomores then, and they knew what this experience was going to be like, and I think that really helped. Our upperclassmen did a tremendous job of, of helping all the other players stay focused when it got a little crazy, because it did. Um, but we also said to them at the beginning of the game that, you know, you look at all the banners, the pressure was on them. And it, I think it was easier for our players to relax because of the history, you know, recent history. They've owned the MAC. And, you know, more than anything, we'd like to change that. But the fact of the matter is, they've owned it. And, and we've got to do whatever we can uh, to try to change that. But I still think, you know, it took a great defensive effort. It took a great offensive effort as well. We played exceptionally well today, and I'm very proud of our team. Are you surprised the way you did? I mean, you guys really, you controlled the game from the outside. You didn't allow the, the big run. Are you surprised at how you guys were able to do it? I know what we're capable of. And I think this team, it, it's ironic because last year with Tanika May, she was a tremendous defender. But I actually think this is our best defensive team we've had. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that we can pick up the point early in pressure. Andal is a tremendous defender. And anytime you can slow down a point guard, and, and that allows everyone else to get matched up a little quicker. Last year, we'd be running with our tails tucked in, trying to catch up to people. This year, it's a little easier because we do have that defensive pressure from the point. What were your emotions like when the clock finally hit zeros? I was glad because I know how quickly they can score. And, you know, even under a minute, you couldn't relax until the last few seconds checked, uh, ticked off that clock. So I think finally it was a time to exhale and, and enjoy the moment. But I'll tell you, because they score so quickly, I mean, that last play, you know, a little misdirection uh, screen for three, that's a tremendous look. They executed it perfectly. Our kids got pinned. She drilled it. And I'll tell you, watch it. I think I must have watched eight game tapes coming into tonight. Every inch, rewound them. My eyes are ready to bug out because I watched so much film. But the reason that it was so tough is because I wanted to know every little thing they did because Prohaska can shoot on a dime. You guys have watched it because you've covered them. But she can shoot on a dime. You give her a second open and she can bury it. And it was so important that we not leave her. And I thought our players did a tremendous job of having a hand in her face most of the night. Trisha, obviously Nama had a huge night for you, but how big was Goody also? I mean, it seemed like every time there was a big play, she was you know, pretty much a part of it. Well, Goody and Yolanda, and I'll say Yolanda first because Goody got in foul trouble, and it would have been really easy for our team to have said, ah, it's over. But Yolanda played huge minutes in the first half. She had to step up and be big for us. And even though she wasn't scoring as much, maybe missed some easy ones, she still did a great job defensively and on the boards and really kind of tied into what we wanted to do. And, you know, people talk about us being physical. It was a physical game both ways. Um, I really thought it was a battle, and it was going to be. Two teams that are they know what's on the line. It's not just about, it's about staying at the top of the league. And we, that's what it's about, not just about this rivalry. Uh, there was a lot at stake that in that direction. But, uh, yeah, she, she came off the bench, and after sitting and watching that whole game, uh, the first half, I thought she came in the second half. And I kept looking at her like, you're not tired. You know, you sat a long time, so don't even tell me you're tired. But she played a tremendous second half. I thought she hit big basket after big basket, and that rebound might be my favorite one of hers for the year. Free throws aside, your thoughts on Nama tonight? 
<laughs> you know, I think Nama showed what she's capable of, and I think, you know, she'd be the first to tell you that, you know, maybe the MAC tournament wasn't necessarily her best game against them, and I think that still burned inside, and she really wanted to make up for that, and I thought she did tonight. She had great composure. Um, at times when they really helped on her, she dished the open person. At times when she saw an opening, she took it to the basket um, and also played tremendous defense. I, Nama is, a, is an outstanding player. We're very fortunate to have him. <coughs> Anything else? Coach, can you talk about just what do you want your team to get from a game like this? Obviously, as you said, BG has on the Mac. For you all to come in here into a hostile environment, last game here, for your team to pull out the victory, what do you think your team is going to take away from the victory? Well, I think the thing that I want them to take away most is that last year after we beat them, we lost to Kent. And I'd like for them to take away from it that we can't think that, you know, our, our goals last year were to win the MAC. Our goal wasn't just to beat BG. Um, but I think the important thing is that this year that we want to take confidence away knowing that, you know, we have the ability to beat some of the better teams in the league. But to know that we've got to bring it each night if we're going to do what we want to do this season. Because I'm telling you, Kent State is going to be a war this weekend. Thank you.